The parole board has lost their damn humanity to think that a murderer should walk their streets. Patrolman's Benevolent Association President Patrick Lynch did not mince words, talking about the expected release of cop killer Herman Bell, who could walk free as early as 5 p.m. today. Bell has spent nearly 45 years in prison for the murders of NYPD officers Joseph Piagentini and Waverly Jones. It was 1971, and the two cops had thought they were responding to a real 911 call in Harlem. Instead, they walked into an ambush. Jones was killed with a single shot. Piagentini died in a hail of more than 20 bullets. Bell and two other members of the Black Liberation Army were convicted. But last month, the state parole board granted Bell parole. This governor is nothing doing nothing but kowtowing down to the lowest common denominator in society, and that's violent criminals. Governor Cuomo appoints parole board members. He has said he disagrees with their decision in this case, but the board is independent. Piagentini's outraged widow released a statement through the PBA today, also calling out Cuomo, saying he, quote, has time to issue an executive order to give parolees the right to vote, but not to meet with us. Bell supporters, including some members of Officer Jones's family, say Bell is a changed man and deserves to be released. Last month, Bell's attorney read a statement on Jones's son's behalf. The fact is that Mr. Bell has taken responsibility for his actions. In these times of increased hate, we need more compassion and forgiveness. The parole board in their ruling said they did not believe that Herman Bell would violate the law again. We did reach out to the parole board and the governor's office for their response to the crit criticism today, but have not yet heard back. Reporting live in lower Manhattan, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.